So I received my my bicycle for my movement, chipping movement, with a crooked handlebar. And I mean, you can't ride it with a crooked handlebar. Uh, I mean, the wheel being turned and the handlebar facing forward. So what I decided to do after, of course, doing my little investigation on how to do it is use the, uh, the Allen wrench. Uh, one of these. Make sure when you take these off, you save them, of course, because you don't want to be losing stuff. And once you take it off, uh, these these two screws, depending on your bike, some of them I've seen people trying to take it off from here. But if you're taking more than the necessary, then you're basically trying to adjust the uh, the, the handlebars instead of the uh, wheel, the, the frame or wheel, whatever you want to call it. So once you take them off, you just make sure you have the brake in the front because they look the same both sides. So you adjust it, right? And that's it. It's easy. The bottom one is the one that actually locks it, locks it. So I like to do that one first all the time. Um, when I saw my bike like this, I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't know how to fix it. But after doing research, I was able to fix it. So once you fix it, I'm just going to go by the eye measurement. Usually the bottom one is the one that locks it. You see, it's locked now. So that's the really the, the way you fix the the hand, the bike wheel when it's crooked. Not the handlebars. The handlebars you probably have to do a little bit more. But I was struggling at the beginning. That's why I decided to make a video because it was frustrating. Just leaving my bike because I couldn't even hang it because the wheel was facing it awkwardly. I have the other bike hanging right now, um, but I like this one. This one brings me uh, memories of my bicycle accident. So it's pretty cool. It's not funny. So once you tighten them up, these are good. Uh, Allen wrench, if you can find anyone, any, but you gotta get the right measurements. So I have always the little Husky from uh, Home Depot. You could probably get one that is uh, uh, low, but of course they don't make Husky, uh, Cobalt or whatever. I'm not trying to sponsor nobody. So you just buy one that has all the measurements so you don't have to be focusing on going back and forth buying uh, whatever. Buy one that's pretty cool. So now that my wheel is now, my, my, everything is straight, I can easily put it in place so I could just ride it now. So hopefully you guys like my video. Uh, it's easy to fix them once you know how to do it. It's hard to fix it when you know. So hopefully you guys like my tutorial. Thank you. Have a good day.